Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel my good people. I'm a little under the weather but I'm still here with you. We are gathered here today because the way we all cook and eat is likely to change in the near future because of a proposed ban on gas stoves. Now the Consumer Product Safety Commission is set to make changes in the way we cook our food with this ban. So we have to put this in the spotlight because a lot of folks are upset about it too. And we got some angry tweets we're gonna get to. So this ban on gas stoves will first be applied to new homes and commercial businesses, restaurants. And it has already taken effect in Los Angeles, California and could become policy nationwide slowly federally. Okay. Kind of like that ban on indoor smoking. It took off and then it didn't happen, but eventually it did happen. So I want to know how do y'all feel about cooking on hot plates? That's basically what those electric stove tops are, hot plates. And I, I bet y'all not excited about that. So you got your electric ovens and stove tops, and there's the induction stove tops. They're, they're a little different, but they're both electric, no gas going on. Currently, I am using an induction stovetop. I had no choice when I moved into my place. I've learned to live with it, but baby, do I miss gas <sighs> terribly. And the biggest argument for this ban on gas stovetops is, of course, human health and safety. First and foremost, the preservation of the health of our children. The gas, they're saying, has our children most at risk. So this policy to phase out the use of gas is being proposed on the federal level. There are rumblings because its usage can be directly linked to childhood asthma in about 13% of all the cases, as well as other diseases because there are some fine odorless particulates of nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and other particles that can enter the respiratory system. Now, my little sister suffered from asthma as a kid. It was terrible. She couldn't play a lot. So these gas stoves are doing all kinds of harm that we never knew about, evidently. And gas stoves are now being called the hidden danger. And as if childhood asthma was not enough of a problem, the use of gas ovens are also causing global warming, according to scientists. Global warming that's said to be the cause of all this crazy rain that we're getting in Cali right now. Unprecedented torrential rains that's going on right now in California with these landslides and boulders falling onto the highway. Ellen DeGeneres is freaked out about it. Honestly, though, it's under complete evacuation the entire town is for five anniversary from the fire and much that killed so many people and uh, people lost their homes, their lives. This is crazy. Five year anniversary. They're having unprecedented rain. This street next to our house never closed, ever. Probably about nine feet up, and it's going another feet up. Yeah, more than to evacuate. Um, be nice to Mother Nature. Because Mother Nature is not happy with us. I'm from California, so this hits home for me in all kinds of ways. Seems like there just needs to be a little bit of reason used with all of this. I mean, just banning gas outright. The LA City Council banned the use of most gas appliances, and that took effect at the beginning of 2023, this year. And the entire state of California is also taking steps to phase out gas-powered vehicles by 2035. I do get it because the air quality in Cali can get pretty bad. It does need to improve. Yes, yeah, seriously. But I'm thinking, what about restaurants that thrive from being known for their gas cooking, their open grills, and even like pizzerias with these stone oven uh, 
yeah, these pizza ovens, these stone pizza ovens, these barbecue joints known for their charcoal grill flame and <laughs> come on, <laughs> open grill and slow cook, slow roasted hickory smoke and all of that. What about that? A lot of that goes on indoors and even Burger King. Now we got some angry tweets. And let me also say, there's supposed to be a bit of help from the government to help families out who choose to make this transition, but still an electric oven compared to an induction oven stove top, they're not the same. And the cost can swing dramatically. You know, for some people, this might be a great excuse to do some renovation. You like spending money anyway, but to get a decent stove, an induction is probably what you really want. Just the basic electric one is probably not going to make most people happy, but it will get you in the club of electric stoves and away from the gas. And some of those, you know, those um, stoves, they look kind of, kind of sexy, you know, modern, even this vintage one, that's kind of hip. I like that. Check out these tweets. You got to check out these tweets. Consumer Product Safety Commissioner or CPSC isn't coming for anyone's gas stoves. Trump could tweet it late Monday. Regulations apply to new products for Americans who choose to switch from gas to electric. There is support available. Here's one from Rodney C. Lawler. You're a little liar. Totally bogus study. I got a study that says unelected bureaucrats abuse the power 90 abuse their power 95% of the time and need to be shut down. The middle-aged baby wrote, why highlight the word choose when you are clearly pointing out choice is not important to you or your agency? <laughs> I read another tweet. I don't see it here, but someone said, clearly no, none of the commissioners cook. And you know, people that cook, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing like a gas stove. There's nothing like using gas. There's nothing like a grill. You can't, you can't even with fireplaces. You cannot fake that with the fake logs. I mean, fire is natural. Okay, so there's got to be just a little bit of reason with all of this uh, attack on the gas stoves and open grills, open flames. I mean, come on. Who wants that to happen? Really? Are they just trying to scare us? But let me also read an article to put all of this in perspective to ensure you that I'm not over here ad living and just making up stuff. This article comes from USA Today. It says a federal agency is considering a ban on gas stoves in the U.S., the report says. Hidden hazard. A federal agency is reportedly considering a ban on gas stoves on the hills of rising concern about harmful indoor air pollutants emitted by the appliances. In an interview with Bloomberg, a U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commissioner said gas stove usage is a hidden hazard, which can cause health issues, including respiratory problems in children. Any option is on the table. Products that can't be made safe can be banned. Hmm. Agency Commissioner Richard Trumka Jr. told Bloomberg, the first major outlet to break the news. The report said the agency plans to take action to address the indoor pollution caused by stoves. To be clear, Consumer Product Safety Commissioner, or CPSC, isn't coming for anyone's gas stoves. Trumka tweeted late Monday. Regulations apply to new products for Americans who choose to switch from gas to electric. There is support available. On Tuesday, the CPSC released the following statement to USA Today. CPSC has not proposed any regulatory action on gas stoves at this time. Any regulatory action by the commission would involve a lengthy process. Agency staff plans to start gathering data and perspectives from the public on potential hazards associated with gas stoves and propose solutions to those hazards later this year. 
Commission staff also continues to work with voluntary standards organizations to examine gas stove emissions and address potential hazards. Later on this year does not sound that lengthy to me. Okay. Previously, Los Angeles joins movement to ban new natural gas hookups to fight climate change. No more fire in the kitchen. Cities are banning natural gas in homes to save the planet. Gas stoves used in more than 40 million U.S. homes emit air pollutants such as nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and fine particulate matter at levels the Environmental Protection Agency and World Health Organization said are unsafe and linked to respiratory disease, heart issues, cancer, and other medical problems, according to reports by groups such as the Institute for Policy Integrity in the American Chemical Society. The CPSC has been considering action on gas stoves since the fall. In October, Trumpka recommended the agency seek public comment on the hazards associated with gas stoves after pollutants were linked to asthma and worsening respiratory conditions. Gas stove use and child asthma peer-reviewed research published in December in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health also found more than 12% of childhood asthma cases in the nation can be attributed to the use of a gas stove. I got a report about 13% too. Our results quantify the U.S. public health burden attributed to gas stove use in childhood asthma, researchers wrote. Further research is needed to quantify the burden experience at the county level, as well as the impacts of implementing mitigation strategies through intervention studies. This is a long article. In a December 21 letter addressed to the CPSC, Chair Alexander Hohn Sarek, lawmakers including Senator Cory Booker and Senator Elizabeth Warren argued Black, Latino, and low-income households are more likely to be affected by the effects because they are either more likely to live near outdoor air pollution sources too or live in homes with poor ventilation. I will add the concern for Latinos and Blacks, that should be there even without this proposed change from gas to electric. Ventilation is where discussion should be, but cooking produces emissions and harmful byproducts no matter what type of stove is being used, according to the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers, which represents gas range manufacturers, including Whirlpool Corporation. Ventilation is really where this discussion should be rather than banning one particular type of technology. Jill Notini, a vice president with the association, told Bloomberg, banning one type of cooking appliance is not going to address the concerns about overall indoor air quality. We may need some behavior change. We may need people to turn on their hoods when cooking. The American Gas Association pushed back against a natural gas ban in December. A blog post saying it makes housing more costly because electric homes require expensive retrofits. But President Joe Biden's landmark Inflation Reduction Act includes a rebate of up to $840 for an electric stove or other electrical appliances and up to $500 to help cover the cost of converting from gas to electric. So there you go. There's something for us all to think about. But hey, that's some news you can use. I don't think they would have put up a long article like that. If it wasn't for something, I'll see y'all the next time. Till then, y'all be good and keep living your life like it's golden. Peace.